Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are Lazarus today. Alright, bombs are key. Basically just identifies a pill. Made it. Alright. Okay, it's not basement XL. Or cellar XL. That would have been annoying. Honestly, I don't remember seeing this room before. Whatever. Too bad I don't get a damage bonus like with uh, Samson for taking the damage. Missed. Okay. Alright, that's good to save for later. We are not in hard mode. Alright, key's useful. Okay, take all the stuff. Uh, Alright. Come on. Dang it. In case you were wondering, I was really hoping that would, you know, blow up in the, uh, one of the two places where it would have been useful for it to blow up, basically. Either on the right side, which looks like a super secret room, or on the left side, or near the middle, where it would hit that tinted rock, because I don't have a bomb. Alright, well, that changes the temp the floor by a lot. I wish I would have um, gotten hit. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I'm totally waiting for him to toss a bomb where it'll hit this. Thank you. And there is a bomb. I die, use that. I'd have three special hearts for protection. Thanks to the one that's already, you know, over there. And then I also get to blow up the other tinted rock. Too bad I'm not going to be close enough to see if that's the super secret room to the left. Alright. No way I was dodging that. I mean, I could have just not been that close, but whatever. Okay. Alright, tears and shot speed. Shot speed's irrelevant, tears are great. I have enough keys for that, but I need to have enough for the um, item room as well. You know what, I may have been able to place it here, but I don't think it would have blown up that center one. Oh my gosh, 10.5. Alright. We are already capable of winning this. <clears throat> if I, you know, play well. And then there's another tinted rock. Jeez. That's a lot of tinted rocks. Just need more bombs. The odds of that being the secret room are very, very low, but, yeah. 
Alright, well at least I chose the correct one there. And... I mean, I'm hoping for the small rock because I've got lots of health and... a way to replenish it already. But, you know, you don't get to choose. Oh, hey, Halloween kid. <clears throat> How's it going? Are you Hollow Kid by any chance? I don't know how to see, like, the actual YouTube account behind the messages. Oh. Okay, that is a good room. It's just if it was a four room, it would change what I did in the boss room and possibly the double room. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to pick up any of the consumables in this room. I might be able to grab the key. Yeah, good. Cause I just barely got a hold of it before the, uh, whatchamacallit triggered. Mr. Boom could be useful. Did he get, did that give me two troll bombs and one regular bomb? How do you have 119 subs? I have no idea. Alright, I'm not going to open that yet. Because I need the keys. And I've only got like 58, I think, or 59. Uh, okay. 50 50 on whether that was worth it. Do need to go to the shop first. but not useless, especially since we are going all the way today. Thank you for killing one of your buddies. Okay. Decent chance the secret room's over there on the left, but I'm not pushing this all the way across the room. <coughs> A 
couldn't have been on the left anyway, now that I'm looking, so I don't feel so bad about that. Alright, just out of this sense of completeness, I am going to need to go to the, uh, whatchamacallit room, grab Mr. Boom. Oh, that is a good syringe, speed and damage. Got the devil room and death's touch. Alright, friggin' amazing again. Alright, luckily that speed up makes it a lot faster for me to get up to where I'm going. small rock. We've hit more tinted rocks this run without them being the small rock than I think I've done in any run. You know what? Wait, that's a tears up? Since when is Wiggle Worm a tears up? I mean, considering I'm shooting scythes and they're super wide, it's a, you know not going to be all that much harder to hit stuff. And if that's a tears up, then I'll keep it. It's a complete accident that it worked out really well. Yeah, it's barely wiggling at all. Do want to find the secret or the ad room and the shop? I would like to get a bomb because I can basically make a bridge using that one or using that tinted rock. Mystery gift may have been, but that would depend on whether we um, got to the, uh... oh crap, I bought the bomb then immediately used it to blow up the keeper. Oops. I had already blown up the keeper, so it wasn't actually worth it. Although I guess it did give me the other re-roll, but the re-roll would have cost less than five cents, so... Oh, actually, if this is the small rock, it wasn't. I was going to say it's not going to make a bridge, and I'm not going to be able to get the small rock without another bomb to make a bridge out of one of the um, other rocks. Uh, I'll take meat over bombs. And then I got three bombs. Because the, you know, 
heart container is more useful than the demon heart I would have gotten. For trading. Already, you know, almost maxed out on health anyway. got hit. Of course it didn't do a full heart of damage the way it was supposed to. Thanks to uh, the wafer. rush worthy run but the first couple of floors just took too long so I'm not gonna be able to make it there and these are both just health either of them's useful so next floor okay it's early enough this will give me enough bombs to pay for itself points wise. like we're going d down to the lamb, so I'm not going to have the Polaroid anyway. So, take it. Ooh, I got a card. That could be useful. Just got to remember I have it. Need 
six cents that badly. Or keys that badly. Oh, I don't have the thing charged all the way, huh? Alright, well that wasn't all that helpful. None of those are lucky. I was hoping for a re-roller, but a lock-up is useful. I'm not even going to take a little... You know what? I should take a little Hushy. It'll do incidental damage to stuff. Especially when the first random place I put a bomb down you know, opens it for me. Right, so. Find the shop first. Another gold bomb, jeez. I don't... Uh, it's just money on this floor. I did the same thing. Was it the last one of these I did? It was recent. That's useful. And that's useful. Hoping that would be a little better. I haven't gotten an item out of a chest. I haven't gotten small rock despite breaking like eight tinted rocks. Oh, I was gonna say I may as well just put bombs everywhere looking for the. First place I put a bomb winds up being the super secret room. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, it didn't go to the item room.
disappointing couple of floors. I mean, like I said, we were at, hey, we're going to win this probably by the second floor. By the second, second floor at the very latest. Pentagram. Worth it. Good damage up. Still good tears. Piercing shots. One more floor of boss. Items that I get to, you know, choose from two of. Oh yeah, I have the Celtic Cross. It's not the Polaroid, so it doesn't trigger every time, but it also doesn't, you know, fail to trigger when I don't have the full, or when I'm not at half a heart. Did I not buy the starter deck? Okay. Bad group of things. Bad item. I will trade a bomb for a key here. Sadly. I did not mean to grab that. That wasted five rooms of charge. Okay, I don't even need to use a bomb there then. That increases my double room chance naturally. Max 
Maxing out my tears is worth more than what, little Steven? Yeah. All right, come on, something good. That new is useful, and I do still have positive luck, despite that luck down pill. was a lot faster than I expected. I really wanted this two floors ago so I could go to that one trap room. First one absolutely should not have hit me. The second one all, you know, agree was a good shot. I was three seconds too late. For Hush. I mean, I wouldn't have fought Hush anyway, probably. But still. I took both of those because I've got, you know, health. Just the sheer utility of the Sacrificial Dagger is great. And because I'm guaranteed... next floor. I'm hoping I get one more guppy at him. Alright, Infamy blocked that one for me. Good job, Infamy. Can you use... Luckily with the battery I don't have to worry about like missing a room or two and wasting the charge. Alright, yeah, I got greedy trying to hit all of them instead of just focus firing 
the ones to death. Okay, good, good explosion. Caught the other dudes. Blank rune. I think the wiggle worm uh what should we call it is oh the other really good syringe awesome yeah like I'm pretty sure yeah I have enough tears up items that uh, I don't need that to be at max tiers so I can go ahead and take the watch battery for the you know just occasional extra charges I don't remember if I can put out fire with the little horn tears or not. Oh. Oh, it does count as enemies. I couldn't remember. Alright, and... Gold key. And there was a chance for Guppy's head in there, so... Becoming Guppy means I could do a delirium fight at the end of this if it shows up. Okay, gold bomb right after I used a bunch of bombs. That was a really good random algae's rune from the whatchamacallit. Not the super seeker. <laughs> that wasn't and that wasn't. So the Seeker Room and Super Seeker Room are both in places that you would never think they were, basically. Let's go ahead and use Algies in here. Just gotta remember to go back and grab the, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh yeah, I can just walk up, knife the crap out of them. health. Grab the dust shard. Head on down to South Park and we'll have ourselves a time. Friendly faces everywhere. People are saying howdy neighbor. And there's Guppy. Finding more than one 
chest to re-roll in any of these other rooms is really low since I don't have any of the things that double, you know, drops. Alright, full health is irrelevant when I have no heart containers. I do have one lock, so I'm expecting at least one chest. There's a chest. That was a lot of tears without a little horn shot. which of these is a better damage up, but the Empress gives speed, which might matter. Probably not, but it might. Okay. I guess this shovel wouldn't have been useless. Awaz actually, you know, did something even though it gave me a useless item. Yeah, the one split into two and fired brimstone. And then the two that it split into each fired brimstone. Which is why that was so weird and asymmetrical. Emperor. Well, basically. I'll take the Empress in. Use it. Get hit. Do that. Get no um, delirium teleport. Now I just take the Emperor with me. As I um, just finish the last couple rooms, which means I don't have to backtrack again. Alright, yeah. I missed Boss Rush and Hush, and I'll bet basically everyone else did Boss Rush and Hush. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you would, and I will see you guys next time.